what's up guys in the works and we are playing some more black ops 2 and we're on turbine one of my least favorite maps in the game and we're going up against a full party who i like to call the pdw silence clan because that's all they're using is the pdw 57 with silencers and, you know i tend to play this game solo uh, you know i don't know a lot of people that actually play black ops 2 on pc so i tend to play this by myself most of my friends play it on xbox so I'm always running solo, and it gets really frustrating going up against full squads, but we do make a really interesting game of this. Um, the second half will actually be from a different game, but this, this is pretty interesting. It shows a lot of the weaknesses of the weapon we're going to be talking about today, which is the AN-94. But in the same respect, it's going to show off a lot of the strengths of this weapon. Now, if you guys follow my Battlefield 3 videos, you know that I absolutely love the AN-94 in that game. It seems like every game the AN-94 is in, it's my favorite weapon. It's probably my favorite assault rifle in Battlefield 3. Uh, I really, really liked it in Bad Company 2 even, even though a lot of people didn't like the AN-94, I still liked it, because uh, this is just a cool gun. I mean, it's a, a really unique weapon. I mean, if you if you have the time, go and research some of the cool things about the AN-94. You know, the way it fires its first two shots makes it so that it has almost no recoil. Um, the barrel actually pushes back when you fire those shots. and It's really coolly designed, and it's always been one of my favorite weapons. And, you know, it's cool that they actually put it in Black Ops 2. When I saw that, I was like, all right, that's awesome, because they're actually, you know, conceding the fact that, hey, this is the weapon of the future. So, AN-94, definitely one of my favorite weapons. But how does it perform in Black Ops 2? Well, it's actually one of my favorite assault rifles in the game in terms of performance. That and the M8A1 are probably my two top tier assault rifles. And in a game that's absolutely dominated by high fire rate SMGs, you know, it's a little bit more difficult to play with some of the assault rifles. You do have to change it up a little bit if you're not using, let's say, the M8A1. I find the M8A1 is a little bit more versatile just because it does have a high fire rate, but we're right there, you know. Uh, I shot first on that guy, I was on target. My aim wasn't the best, but the fact that the fire rate was so slow, I had a hard time catching up to him, and he turned and sprayed me down with his submachine gun. I mean, that's just the nature of this game. If you get mad about that stuff, I mean, that's just something you have to learn to live with in Black Ops 2, because I think it's here to stay, you know, those hip fire SMGs, but I learned to slow my playstyle down just a little bit when using the AN-94. I'm a little bit more tactical in the way I approach the map. I'm a little bit more, you know, cautious when I go around corners because I know that I'm not using that laser sight uh, SMG and I can't just spray people when I panic. So definitely have to play a little bit smarter with these weapons. But the unique thing about the AN-94 is it's a high damage, really easily controllable gun. I mean, that's that's basically the easiest way I can put it. It only shoots 625 rounds per minute. Now, in real life, I think this is default 600 rounds per minute. I don't know why it has the extra 25 tacked on in Black Ops 2. I don't know, maybe in 2025 they add 25 rounds per minute to their weapons. I don't know. Uh, I'm sure it was a balancing thing to make it a little bit more competitive. Because uh, 600 rounds per minute is pretty slow when you've got SMGs that shoot like 1,250 rounds per minute so I'm sure it was a balancing thing I'm not a game designer but the AN-94 definitely rocks face this thing is an absolute monster at long range it's so easy to stay on target uh, you know I would say the ultimate long range assault rifle has definitely got to go to the scar just because that thing does hold its damage so much longer but the AN-94 is no slouch when it comes to long range fighting especially especially the fact that you can stay on target so easily with this weapon so um, I am really loving it though I think it, it's really tough for me to, to choose between this and the M8A1 um, I often try to stay away from these single fire weapons with select fire so like the SMR and the FAL and oh that was a dumb move on my part I feel like in this game, every time I turn around, there's always another person. It's like, okay, I kill two people. Oh, there's the third guy. Okay, I kill three people. Oh, there's the fourth guy. I kill four people, and oh, they all respawn. So it gets kind of frustrating. I feel like uh, that's why I'm always so like, I'm always so like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm always on my on edge when I play Black Ops 2. I'm like, okay, okay, where, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? And I get really nervous that there's going to be a guy that's just going to pop around the corner that I just killed. But um, you know, it's a fun game, and a lot of people, a lot of people have already gotten tired of it. I think that. Um, there's a lot of things in this game that get kind of frustrating to people, especially the SMGs, but I don't know what it is. I've just learned to have fun in this game, and uh, it reminds me a lot of the bare-bones first-person shooters that a lot of us want. It seems a lot more tactical in the way that you can play this game. Uh, I'm definitely missing a lot of the BS that's that's prevalent in some of the Call of Duties, but I will admit that there are some things that get kind of frustrating, like target finders and stuff like that, but... Uh, at least on PC, the community seems to be a little bit more mature. You'll notice after most games, you'll get at least a GG, uh, which I can't say is true on Xbox. On Xbox, you usually got some little 12-year-old screaming in your ear telling you to shut up and you guys all suck. So, uh, 
I've been having fun with it, and the AN-94 is definitely a blast. If you want to change things up a little bit, I mean, it's not your typical gun. It, it does possess some of the features that uh, make the AN-94 unique, which is controllable recoil. And you can actually put select fire on it if you want to be, you know, legit with this weapon and have your two-round burst, which is what it is. Slap on the select fire, and you can have a burst variant weapon. And it's actually pretty decent with burst on too, and that is the worst Black Ops player ever. You know, I thought in my last video it was the worst player ever when I turned on that guy. I think we got a new one right there. That guy was definitely one of the worst ever. But I'm glad to see that my love affair with the AN-94 can go on from Battlefield 3 all the way to Black Ops 2. And let's hope in Battlefield 4 and maybe, you know, Call of Duty 100 that the AN-94 will continue to be the beast weapon that, you know, I know and love. So, hopefully you guys did learn a thing or two about this weapon. I think if you haven't tried it, it's definitely worth giving it a shot. It's one of the better assault rifles. Uh, but if you missed my last videos, here's a quick chance to catch up. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.